argue with them and they won't. So they can test their product. And with this wish in mind, I'm inviting to join me on stage Team Plan Z. Institute of Technology. Welcome. Hey guys, I'm Felix from Team Planting, and I got a question. What does B by the power of four means to you? Is it related to chemistry or mathematical term? Most of you have probably heard of a B2B business. But for our challenge, we experienced a business-to-business-to-business-to-business -to -business -to -business -to -business situation. It describes the market for our company, Partner Planting. But before I get too excited, Planting itself might describe the situation best. <laughs> I'm from San Francisco again. <laughs> I'm Nick, and I'm an employee of the Austrian company, Planting. We are a supply partner in the display industry. Let's have a look together at our supply chain. We have, right at the beginning, followed by the biggest display manufacturer in China, BOE. After this, there's Bosch, who assembles the displays into a whole display systems, which car providers like Daimler uses in their cars. One word about the competition we're facing right now. Competition, especially in China, has increased dramatically. The new players enter the market, most of them heavily subsidized, adapted to our quality standards with the result that the prices dropped and we lost market share. Thank you. Thank you. So to better understand the situation, the decision-making process and the needs of all players involved, we conducted interviews along the whole supply chain. We started with Plantis direct customer, a display manufacturer in China, like BOE. We found out that the response time of European suppliers is too slow. Different communication channels, like email, phone or SAP office, make the process pretty complicated. To stay competitive in the Chinese market, Plantis communication needs to be fast and convenient. Let's keep in mind, communication is important. Besides communication, we experienced that the customer does not know exactly about the technical properties of Plantis products. That's why we have to that's why we focus on educating them about the specific benefits and advanced technologies of Plantis products. Let's keep in mind, education is important. Next, we conducted interviews with both companies like Bosch and Daimler, as the automotive industry is becoming more important for us. But what is essential to them? They want to have the best and most innovative displays. Therefore, they are keen to partner up with the leading companies along the whole supply chain, as each supplier has specific know-how. To summarize, our third need is relationship. Different needs for different persons. So we jumped into action. We drew, we built and tested again. After several interviews, feedback and iterations, we developed Smarties. Smarties is an internal toolbox for plant employees. Tailored tools address the needs of various stakeholders. The tools are separated with regard to the big needs. Ease communication, ensure education and improve relationship. For each, we develop one tool in detail. Let's experience one together. In order to ensure education and improve relationship, communication is fundamental and needs to be tackled first. Do you guys remember, do you guys remember how we communicated in China? Right, everyone uses WeChat. It is the one and only communication channel, both in business and daily life. Let's see how Nick, the plant employee in the European headquarters, handles the communication with his Chinese colleague, Julia. Let's have a look. Over the years, 
years, our global communication landscape has become increasingly complex. Traditional communication channels cannot meet customer needs in China anymore. Our efforts tackle the existing cultural gap between Western and Eastern communication. What Nick is about to learn from sales in China is that speed and convenience for official information is of the essence to success in China. Two days, almost 380,000. By building the communication bridge between cultures, we reduce complexity and thus help Nick to communicate with his Chinese customers. which is designed to simplify daily communication, enhance the speed of official communication, all while granting more transparency to the customer and within Plansing. In short, we bring simplicity, speed, and transparency to the table. Now, Nick knows what to do, why to do it, and how to do it. validated tools which are all part of something bigger. Something we call Smarties, a collection of tools that helps you to decide how to interact with whom. Interested in finding out more? Then check out Smarties. And stay smart in every situation. We know some of you might ask yourself, is it just WeChat? Seven students, nine months, and that's it? No, it's not. We do not have to reinvent the wheel, but we need to be able to implement it. Let me tell you, Clancy has been trying to implement WeChat for the last four years. Therefore, we will deliver a strategy on how to implement WeChat in the company and align all stakeholders. Sounds easy, and we just have to install it. Of course not. When trying to implement it into Plansy's infrastructure, the security issue with WeChat arise. We will address this issue with a two-device strategy. <coughs> the communication is separated into two types of accounts. First, official accounts for business-related information like prices and volumes. Second, private accounts, which can be used to arrange meeting. This separation allows to send all required data via WeChat in a transparent, fast and convenient way. During our project, we had to learn that implementation is not just overcoming technical issues, but also to teach internal departments the use and benefits of WeChat. Therefore, we created individual guidelines and strategies for each department. To summarize, WeWin is much more than just simply installing WeChat. Unfortunately, time is limited, but you guys are curious how we tackle the other two areas, education and relationship? Get to know our cost-benefit model and the vertical cooperation by following our colorful steps, guiding you directly to our room. And remember, Smarties, stay smart. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you for a few questions. Yeah. Okay. Microphone's arriving. Thank you for the presentation. If you've been following the news lately about the Huawei company, there is some concern about, you know, proprietary data from Plan C being 
used for other types of purposes, is that something you have given any thought to? Now, just a little bit, I don't know if it was based on Have you heard of a Chinese company called Huawei? Yes, So, in the context of that, you know, there is some concern that proprietary data from within a company could be used for some other purpose that might hurt the company. So, similar to your downstairs. Lanza was actually a victim to a few cyber identity attacks, honestly. And that is why we particularly implemented or had to implement the two device strategy. But to go into exact depth on how that works and why that was the solution to go, please join us next time. Thank you. Another question? Okay, and one. Um, what was the most difficult point in your project? Like sometimes, uh, uh, design a simple solution is actually very hard. Uh, okay, I guess the same for all of us. Um, it was really challenging to interview the actual customer due to that privacy and all that concerns. So we had the chance to travel twice to China and conduct interviews over there. Um, that made it a bit more easy, but um, just to contact, contact them without any connection point was almost impossible. So, um, lead finding was the most difficult part. Yeah, so, maybe adding on this point, um, it was quite hard um, to, to test with the actual customers due to those uh, secrecy issues, etc. And also, um, the Chinese culture makes it sometimes hard to um, get like really um, good feedback on our activities because if some of the uh, some body of the company is uh, in a room, there's a higher hierarchy level, um, people tend to, um, to to look more on what he is saying, not actually giving um, their own opinion, and that made it really hard to get like when they feedback. Okay, thank you very much, guys. That was great. Uh